The city of San Francisco is fighting back against AI abuse. The city's district attorney is now suing a series of companies whose websites use AI to create non-consensual and fake nude images. They say those images have been used to exploit women and girls worldwide. Here's NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith. These images are used to bully, humiliate, and threaten women and girls. Today, San Francisco City Attorney David Chu announced a lawsuit against what he describes as the world's largest websites engaging in AI-facilitated exploitation. These websites allow users to upload photos of real clothed individuals. AI technology will then, quote, undress these persons in the photo, creating pornographic images. Images are generated without the consent of the persons depicted. Chu says altogether the sites have been visited more than 200 million times in just the first six months of this year. Our lawsuit describes how while profiting off this content, these website operators have violated a plethora of state and federal laws banning deep fake pornography, revenge pornography, child pornography. The city's chief deputy city attorney says as a mom to a teenager, she was horrified to read about the capabilities and impact these sites have. I was frustrated. How can it be that this pernicious practice can go on without consequence? That seemed wrong and unfair, and it made me angry and motivated. So I spoke to David, the city attorney, we put together a team. Most reputable AI companies have specific limitations on the type of imagery their products will generate. And several states have now either passed or are considering legislation to crack down on these kind of non-consensual AI sites and images. This suit seeks, among other things, the removal of the sites. This case is very important. Ahmed Banafa is a tech expert and professor at San Jose State. There are two parts of solving the problem. One is the punishment part, which is the, re the regulations and, and, and the bills that we are seeing, uh, some of them coming out. And number two is what the tech companies gonna do to make sure that this, this kind of a, a, abuse of the system will be shut down. We wanted to reach out to each company named in today's lawsuit, but have not been able to find any reliable contact information for any of them. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.